sucks but I mean it's not a bad thing because it's um showed me what I need to get fixed um so the left tie rod end is um stuffed and the left um control arm bush is um ripped so I've ordered that I've ordered both um left and um right um bushes so make a video on that that's that will be in this video um yeah and then get her a waff I have a short shifter coming so They'll probably be in this video as well because they'll be coming next week so I'll just add that in, installing that. I don't know if you guys have seen six speed short shift you put in but a bit of content. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, um, so it's the following day after, oh no, two days, it's Sunday today um, since my car failed the warrant. So I'm just gonna reverse it into this space just here so that I can um, leave it there for a few days. I'm going to jack it up, put on axle stands so I'm all safe, get the two um, lower control arms out so that I can take it to work to get the um, bushes pressed out. Um, so I'll do a bit of recording, show you how to do that if you want to know if you're doing that. Um, yeah, so I'll reverse it into here and then I'll do a little time lapse of me jacking it up and putting it on axle stands. Um, one of the reasons it failed a waff was the tie rod end. So if you grab the wheel either side and give it like a wobble, so there's like no play on that side, up and down, go there, like that and that, feels fine. Yep. So there's like no movement in that one because that had a new tie rod end like just after the car. I do the same with this. See that play? Yes. Yeah, and I'll show under there the tie rod end just moving. Hey guys, so I, um, I didn't record taking this one out um, just because I wasn't quite sure how hard it was going to be or what I'd have to do to get it out. Um, I'll re record the other one and show you how to do it. But this is the one that's stuffed. Um, so you got two 17mm nuts that go up under here, or on top actually, to bolt those down. And then you have a 17mm bolt that was a bloody pain in the ass to get out. So here we are. This is a stuffed bush, so it's cracked all in there, um, right through. It's pretty stuffed, so it should feel a bit better. I'm getting um, upgraded, harder ones, not going solid, um, not a solid bush, but it's just a harder material from factory. So that's a 20 year old bush, it's done as duty, I guess. So I'll record getting the other one out, and yeah, I'll mold just leave the tie rod for now. Okay, so we've got both of them out. This one here is actually fine, but um, I'm doing one, so I might as well do both of them, just get them both new, that I never have to worry about them again. Um, so this one here, oh, getting the right lighting, is stuffed, kaput. Um, yeah, so it's pretty, I mean, the other one was way easier than the first one. The first one was a bloody pain. I had to get an extra 
leverage on it, but those are out, so yeah, get those pressed out, hopefully tomorrow, get new ones put in, um, tie rod hopefully tomorrow as well, um, yeah. Okay, we're back on the road, um, my short shifter for this is arriving tomorrow, supposedly, well they reckon they're going to send it tomorrow from Auckland, so hope it turns up, I had a short shifter in when I had the original motor and five speed gearbox and I really liked it, just shorter throw, just felt a bit more notchy, a bit more like you're getting into the gear, a bit more, yeah. So this one here is real, it's like a real easy gearbox and changing gears isn't as satisfying, so it doesn't feel like you're getting it into the gear, it just slides on in. Um, yeah, I've still got my five speed gearbox down there, I know those are stupidly priced at the moment, so I'm just gonna keep it for now. Got rid of the motor, my SR20D motor. I had some Cusco extractors, I just sold those. Um, yeah, I've got a few bits and bobs for a S15, I've got a, a lock diff somewhere, but I had that in for power crews. Um, didn't, around the track it was fine. Um, lock diffs, people say they're dangerous and whatnot, but really didn't notice it. Around the track it just felt like a LSD, just it's only when you're driving slow. But I've just put the LSD back in this because it was getting a pain driving around town. Um, try and go through like a drive through or in a car park or something, it's just a pain in the ass. I couldn't be bothered with it and I didn't really make this or build this car how I've done it, you know, skid it up. I'm more after handling and just having fun streeting it. I mean, I do the odd little skid here and there, but I probably won't be on the new rims because I think I'm gonna wrap them in semi-slips just because I like the look of them. They're not all, well, not just because I like the look of them, obviously they're a better tire, better compound, um, better grip, but they look a lot nicer than bloody, I've just got shitty, well, this, that's a high fly. Tire and the rest are black lines. I had to get this put on at Power Cruise because um, I'll try and get a snippet in this, put a little photo up. Um, it de-beaded when I was going around the track. It bulged out um, out of the side of the wall. And I'm not sure whether that was from just being a cheap tire or when I fitted them to these rims, these are actually a reverse mount rim, and the first one I put on, it ripped the inner bead. So I think it was partially my fault, but obviously driving it hard around the track like I was, it just de-beaded it. Okay guys, so it's another day. Um, my dad had a press at his work, so he actually was able to press out the old um, bushes. So there's a uh, stuff time. Oi, get out, bloody dog. What are you doing? Um, so yeah, that was the stuffed one. So got that out, got the other one out as well, and pressed in these um, Super Pro. It's a lifetime warranty. Um, I'm not sure what compound it is, but it's a bloody hard rubber. So they're all in there ready to go. So um, do a little time lapse of me installing one of them. And I'll do the other side. I mean, that's just three bolts. It's not really anything hard. And I've got a tie rod end because that also failed. Um, so I'll put that in. Just do a little, try and get a, a good as alignment as I can. Do a little home alignment, and I can take it into work tomorrow and um, pass my warrant. Um, yeah, so that'll be good. So I'll set the camera up and um, get some clips of that. Okay, so I've just installed both the front caster arms. Um, I did a time lapse of um, doing the left one, but um, yeah, it's pretty standard. Just three bolts. Um, now I've got a buggered tie rod end. There's a bit of play in here. So. It's going to come out. It's just a split pin. I've already taken the split pin out and cracked the nut. Um, um, new one comes with another nut and some 
Brooklyn, so get that out and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've just turned the steering wheel, um, just taken the old crown nut off, and then you can just usually just give it a little, little up tap. Oh, there we go. It's a nice little tap. Um, this one's stuff, so I wasn't really too worried if I damaged the thread doing that, but now I'm just gonna get a measurement of it all. Um, see how much measurements on that thread and then kind of know where to adjust this new one to. I know I should be getting a wheel alignment but like I said I think I am going to get coilovers for this so and that's going to be in a month or so so there's no point in really going for an alignment just now when we can't, I can't, we don't do them at work so yeah um, get some measurements and then I'll come back to you once the new one's on. Okay so we've just done a rough um, alignment, uh, we used a piece of did the old string method um it all was fine from the rear wheels to the front touching at the same point so the split pin in and everything all tight so i'm gonna put my wheel on and go for a drive it's the new bushes so go for a drive and then get it to work tomorrow Looking pretty straight, so I'm gonna go for a drive. Um, see what it's like. I'm hoping it's fine because I can't really bother going in the alignment at the moment. Um, but yeah, also found out good when I got a warrant that my low beam and high beam were way too low, so and I could still see decent amounts. So I haven't actually driven it at night time with them. At the proper height, so I'll be able to see now. So I'll just go for a drive and I'll get you guys with how it all went. Okay, guys, so I just went for a drive. The first time um, the steering wheel was on the piss and it was pulling the side quite bad, so came back, gave it another um, and now it doesn't pull either, doesn't pull anyway, and the steering wheel straight. So for home alignment, um, it's not bad. I would obviously recommend um, being a mechanic get a proper alignment because um, it will matter for the wear of your wheels and tyres and whatnot but um, I'm overly not too worried about these um, wheels considering that um, they're not going to be on there for much longer with those um, my VSKFs um, getting done. Yeah so I'm not really too worried about if these wheels get a little bit chewed out or whatnot um, these tyres because um, I'm getting the um, VSKFs on and then yeah I think we're gonna go coil overs. I'm pretty adamant on getting this girl a bit lower. I've got quite a lot of other handling mods I've put on, like front and rear strut braces. I put a rear sway bar in because I don't think Speak S has come factory with the rear sway bars. Um, I've, yeah, well, those front bushes are a bit, they're an upgrade from um, factory rubber ones, they're a harder material. Um, yeah. I wish I did a little bit of recording. It's raining now, so I had a little bit of fun in the wet just because I haven't even tested this LSD since I've put it in um, so I had a lock in for a little bit because um, this LSD was like the oil was disgusting in it so I replaced that and then put it back in and yeah it twinned up so pretty happy with that so two three fives in the wet it is in the wet but I don't really care for skidding in the dry with a DE I don't really want to stuff anything, I don't want to, I know these SI gearboxes aren't really bulletproof so there's no point in trying to hack them up in the dry too much um, yes yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video um, I've got my short shifter that arrived today so I will make an install video try and make an entertaining install video on Saturday um, this will be up this weekend and then that video will be up the following week and yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos that we're putting out for you guys. I'm actually enjoying making them. I still probably should do, or will do, a full review on my car once it's like done. I guess it's not really done yet. I've got a bit more stuff in the works. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.